This is my new bike for this year, the 2023 Noli Chilcotin. Now I am back on the 29 inch wheels. I was always gonna come back to the 29 inch wheels, but I finally built the bike up. And we have a new colorway for this year, the purple with the chrome decals, which I really love. I actually think there's three new colorways, but yeah, I love purple, if you can't tell. But okay, I've got some more interesting parts on this bike this year, so let's go through them. Okay, so let's start with the frame. Of course, this is the Noli Chilcotin. It's very similar to the one I was riding before, uh, except of course this one's purple and with chrome decals. Now, if you're not familiar with Noli, uh, they're a local brand, well, local here to Canada, actually local here to Burnaby, BC specifically. And I'd say they do three things that I really like. First, they make frames that are super tough. If you've watched the channel for a while, you know that's been a problem for me. The second thing is they're known for their four by suspension. Uh, they have a whole like page dedicated to why the suspension feels so good. But yeah, I can tell you that I really like what they do with the kinematics and the way that the rear end feels. I don't fully understand it, but I can tell you that, yeah, it just, it feels nice. And they really go with functionality first. Uh, you know, they buck a lot of trends, you know, in the industry. That's why you see them with aluminum frames. You know what, they looked at what material was available for the bikes that they want to build. And they said, well, this aluminum, this high quality aluminum actually makes more sense than going with carbon. So I know a lot of people want to get carbon because that's what fancy bikes are made out of. But this is an extremely high quality bike. It's extremely tough. And yeah, it's still made out of aluminum and it's great. And this bike also comes in two configurations, the 151, which refers to 151 millimeters of travel in the rear, but I'm running the 167 version, which is of course 167 millimeters of travel in the rear. I don't really see a point for the type of riding that I do and the area that I live in, uh, you know, why I would run less travel. I like to just have as much travel as I can and <laughs> smooth out the trail, make up for my mistakes. I've got the Chrome Egg lift saddle on here. I've got a one-up 210 dropper post. And that's another thing that Noli frames are really nice for. They've got this straight seat tube that allows you to put super long droppers in. I actually think I could run the 240 dropper, uh, but yeah, I haven't even tried yet, but I could. I think I've got, you know, lots of room to put it in there, but 210's fine, of course. For a rear shock, I've actually just switched back to this DHX2 because I was testing out the Suntour rear shock, which I actually quite liked. And I'll actually do a whole video dedicated to Suntour suspension. Uh, that deserves its own video because it's a really interesting, you know, suspension setup that not a lot of people know about. But yeah, so I have been running the Suntour suspension back on the DHX2 now, especially I wanted to compare the two on the same bike. Okay, so that's sort of it for the center of the bike. Let's actually move to the front of the bike where I have even more interesting things. Okay, moving to the front of the bike, you can see now that I am running a Fox 38. I've used that sport before, but not on this bike. But I was actually using the SR Suntour Duralux 38 uh, for the last probably month or six weeks now. And I really like that fork. I'm actually getting a custom tune on it right now. Uh, so I'm gonna have it back on and again, the fork and the shock deserve their own video because I think they're really interesting suspension. So come come back for the SR Suntour video. It deserves its own its own <laughs> whole video talking and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, back on the Fox 38, obviously a very nice fork, also very expensive, but yeah, it's a good fork, obviously. Along with Noli supporting the channel this year, Noble is also supporting the channel again this year. And I've decided to go with the TR38s, which is an older wheel that they have, but it's kind of like the DH, like a little bit heavier, a little bit stiffer, uh, just all around super tough wheel that they have. And you know, I'm a bigger guy and I, I not always ride the smoothest. So I actually appreciate basically having a wheel that is as stiff as possible and also as tough as possible. Uh, the thing with the Nobles is I never true them. I never really do anything to them. I just put them on and forget that I have them. And that just wasn't the case when I was running aluminum wheels. So yeah, I'm super stoked that they want to support the channel again. Cause yeah, I am a big fan of carbon wheels and especially these TR38s. Uh, I think they really go along with this bike. This is like a abuse me kind of bike. You know, it just wants you to <laughs> take lines that you probably shouldn't and it's still gonna be there to support you. I'm running the i9 Hydra Hub. So I've got silver Hydra Hubs here to match the chrome decals of the bike, which I think looks really great. I've become a big fan of these silver hubs. And from Noble, you can get a whole ton of colors and a whole ton of customizations. Like you can get Chris King hubs, Onyx hubs, Hydra hubs. 
uh, hubs that I've never even heard about. They've got them and you can do bird spokes. You can do tons of stuff at Noble. So if you want to reach out to them and get a custom wheel built, you know, specifically for your bike, I would definitely reach out. Even the decals, they'll do custom decals and everything for you. Definitely worth reaching out. And I actually have a discount code down linked in the description. If you are going to order some wheels, may as well get a discount. I am running the Shimano XT brakes again. Uh, but one thing that I'm doing different is I'm running the 220 HS2 rotors from SRAM. Uh, a lot of people have asked me if they're compatible and yes, yeah, I put them on and they seem to be fine. Yeah, I wanted a bigger rotor. I, again, I'm heavier, especially with the 29 inch wheels. I feel like the 220, especially on the front, makes a lot of sense. I like having tons and tons of power up there and yeah, the 220 gives that to me. And then of course, a Max Grip Max's Asa Guide front, but I actually have some really interesting tires to try out. They're from a company called Delium. Uh, they make like a insanely great value tire uh, which feels and looks great. I have them coming to test right now. So as soon as these tires kind of wear out, I'm gonna toss those tires on and yeah, I'll update you guys on how they perform. But uh, so far, super impressed with how they feel and really excited to put them on. So, okay, we've got a few more interesting parts right up here. Okay, so as I said, I am running the XT brakes and of course the XT levers. Uh, we've got Deity grips. We've got this race face uh, dropper lever here, which I got because it's purple. Of course, running the one-up carbon bars. This is a 20 mil rise. Uh, basically I always run these bars. Uh, the compliance feels nice and yeah, I know they work. So I always just kind of go with them. Of course, XT shifter as well, running uh, XT derailleur and all that kind of stuff back there. We'll, we'll get to the back. I also have the one-up tool. Decided to get that sort of that mini one where you hammer down the star nut and then you just put in uh, sort of this hole type dealy that holds a tool in there. Yeah, super handy. One-up makes tons of just super useful things. And of course, you know, I had to just bling this thing out. I am running the 5Dev titanium stem in a 50 mil length. I think with the decals and the chrome hubs, I think this stem really brings it together. I really love the way it looks in POV videos. Huge fan of the titanium stem. Do you need a titanium stem? Is it gonna make you ride faster? Yes, well, probably not, but it looks so cool. How could you not get it? It's great. And okay, that's it for the front of the bike. Let's go to the back. All right, moving towards the back of the bike, I'm running the 5Dev pedals, cranks, and actually 30 tooth chain ring. Uh, these are the enduro pedals. These are the enduro trail cranks, but I've actually got the R-Spec on the way. Again, I think the silver, I've become a big fan of this silver highlight thing I've got going on, the titanium stem, the silver hubs, the silver chain ring. Uh, I really like it. I think it's turned out pretty good. And of course, running a TR38 carbon wheel on the rear, and of course the Hydra hub. The only thing I do to these Hydra hubs that's a little bit different than maybe what most people would do is I take the grease that they recommend, and I basically just fill up the hub and all the paws to make it a lot quieter. That's really just for POV videos. I think in general, I actually prefer a loud hub when I'm riding, but when I'm filming videos, I prefer a quiet hub, uh, well, actually even a silent hub. So I can pretty much get a silent hub out of the Hydra by just pulling off the free wheel and just filling it with grease, put it back on and yeah, pretty much silent. Of course, XD cassette and XD derailleur. I prefer the Shimano derailleur just because I find the clutch is a little tighter, so it makes the bike a little quieter, but I am excited to try out that new uh, electronic shifting from SRAM. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, is it the XX1? Uh, whatever it is, the brand new electronic shifting that's a bajillion dollars. I've heard it's actually amazing. So on the next Chilcotin, when they update it eventually, we'll get the UDH and we'll get that SRAM, uh, you know, full electronic drive kit on there too. And I'll give it a go. Running a DHR2 right now. These are both XO plus. We have Max Grip in the front, but Max Terra in the rear. But like I said, I do have some of those Delium tires to put on. I am gonna do them front and rear very soon. And I think the only thing left to mention is, of course, I am running Kushkor. Big fan of inserts. Basically always run Kushkor front and rear on all my bikes. Again, I think uh, if you're a heavier rider and you abuse your bike like I do, I really like just running inserts. You know, gives me peace of mind. I think it makes the bike feel better as well. Oh, and running a 220 HS2 rotor in the rear. Do you need a 220 rotor in the rear? Probably not, but you know what? YOLO, just double 220. 220 all the bikes. Okay, that's it for my bike for 2023. I think I've got everything, but if I miss something or if you have any questions about the parts, leave them down in the comments. I'm gonna be riding this bike a lot more and I even got some videos already up riding this thing, so go check those out. And you guys know I love talking about bikes, so I'll do a video about why I've gone back to 29 for this year. And you know what? That's it. So I'll see you guys in the next one.